Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. My name is Joey and this is my YouTube channel, Bertoni Motors, if you guys are new to it. In today's video, we are jumping back onto my 2019 Royal Enfield Continental GT650, which I feel like has the longest name of any motorcycle of all time. Um, we started this project like what, back in December? I'm basically going through and evolving the bike, throwing a bunch of new pieces at it, making it look a little more custom than what it was before. Um, in today's video specifically, we are going to finish installing the headlight bracket, which I got from a company called K-Speed, which if you don't know who K-Speed is, follow them on Instagram. They make some of the dopest shit ever. It's all coming out of Thailand. Um, really cool stuff, especially for like Hondas and look at the Honda, what is it? Super Cub Safari or whatever it is and all the Royal stuff. This is what it is. Um, basically, we have to finish wiring some stuff, get it going. My Moto Gadget lights will still work perfectly with them. They just screw in, which is wonderful. But we started this video a few weeks ago, obviously, like I just said, and the audio for that video got corrupted when I brought it over to my computer. So we're halfway through the project, but we still need the intro. That being said, let's jump into the Royal. It's almost done. Let's get it done. Thanks guys. And quick introduction, if you guys are new to the channel, my name's Joey and this is my channel, Bertoni Motors. Um, I do car stuff, I do motorcycle stuff. I've got a Royal, which is back there. I've got my Ducati Panigale V2. I don't know if I'm looking at it. Am I looking at it? Yeah, Wait, let's go look at it. Ba -ba -ba. These are not my cars. <laughs> Those are Hummers by no spec. I'm not that cool, but that's, yeah, that's my Ducati, my friend's Ducati. That's Led's Husky. Um, I've started this channel like two and a half years ago, something like that. Um, just basically as another outlet for my love and passion of the motorcycle and car industry. Um, currently also working on a 91 Jetta and <laughs> engine swapping that and also a BMW 328i, which I'm turning into my first ever drift car. So yeah, hopefully you guys like what we're doing. Look at the snow, that sucks. But hopefully you guys are interested in that and it would be great if you hit that like button and that subscribe button. That's right, I just did the most cliche YouTube bull bullshit ever by asking you to like and subscribe, but it really helps me and this channel grow. So you might as well do it. Thanks guys. Since I was in the middle of upgrading a few different parts of my Royal Enfield, I had to completely drop the forks and the triple clamp. If you're going to just install the headlight bracket from K-Speed, you'll have to loosen the fork legs from the clamp to drop them a few inches. There should be enough space for you to be able to remove the stock headlight bracket and slide on the new one. It's a bit scary to raise the front of the bike off the ground, so make sure you have someone there to help secure it while you put it on its stand. And if you have a Royal Enfield center stand installed, you might be able to do this without a secondary motorcycle stand. You will want to start by loosening the bolts holding the handlebars and triple clamps until you can effortlessly slide the forks down. From there, swap in the new parts with the brackets facing outwards. Take a look at the brackets now. This is a reminder that if I am smart enough to do this, you are more qualified than me. You can do this too. A few learnings from this. Make sure the brackets are facing outward so you can bolt in the triangle bracket that will hold the headlamp. Second, make sure all the wires are above the headlight before you tighten it down. You won't have enough space to push them behind and above. Third, these K-Speed headlight bracket are not a perfect fit. I had to use six washers on both sides to get the headlamp attached properly. More of that's to come. Notice all the wires above the headlamp. It took us two tries to figure this one out. Remember those six washers I warned you about? These are them now. Remember those really cool turn signal adapters that LUD 3D printed for us? Well, we had to tap them out of the original headlamp stand 
because there's an actual space for them on the K-Speed headlight. So with the new headlight, now we have to reroute some of these cables to get this on top of this bracket so it's easier to get to the clip-ons up here. Um, and we actually had to cut some of the wires, which is, it's okay. We have to solder them bitches back on. Might be too close. So let's go ahead and start rerouting some wires. So I'm trying to figure out, since both of these cables, obviously this one is for the right indicator and this one is for the left indicator, but both of these wires go into the loom. So I don't know which loom is left or right. Also, as we're taking a moment to refresh our palate with some hydration, it's a reminder that you should probably drink some water too. So go drink some water. Also, it's an opportunity for me to tell you, I've got a bunch of new sweaters. You too can have a Bertone Motor sweater. I don't have any mugs either, but like we're drinking coffee and I was like, damn, that'd be really cool if I had a mug. I've got a bunch of cool mugs of the Royal, of my Bertone Motors logo, of like the cool, like, this motorcycle, just like the single motorcycle, all on my website, www.bertonimotors.com. So if you want one of those, it'd be really cool. Just, you know, support your favorite YouTuber, which is me. All right, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm taking educated guesses with the help of lead. What I'm going to do now that I wired everything up is I'm gonna turn the bike on and see if the indicators work properly. I'm really afraid that something might blow up and smoke, but I think we should be good. So let's moment of truth this bitch, make sure nothing's touching, anything it shouldn't be. Come on, key. Oop. Please don't die on me. Okay. Oh. So the left. Oh, left indicator. Right. Let's see. Oh. I'm not gonna say I'm proud of myself, but I know Led's proud of me. And he just called me the god of motorcycle YouTubers. Also, look at his lunchbox. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna solder everything on. And I learned this the last time, you have to put one of these on before you put it on because you can't put one on after, if that makes sense. So I bought this kit on Amazon for like $7. It's a bunch of pre-cut hoses. I don't know what you would call it. Basically covers, uh, covers the wire and then you take it a little torch to it and it kind of like melts around it. It's important. All right, let's remember, let's see if I remember how to solder. It's coming together. Headlights working, blinker or indicators are working. I wired it up, nothing smoking. Success. <laughs> One thing that I didn't like about the K-Speed headlight bracket is this. They don't pivot inwards. 
and they don't fit flush. As you can see, there's like six. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There's like six washers on both sides to make it work. Um, and even now, do you see it's not perfectly straight? The bracket itself, it kind of like turns in. That's just putting pressure on both this side and this side, not doing it right. So even though the clip-ons aren't 100% done, the rest of the bike, the rest of the front of the bike, so the bracket is done, both sides. I might actually, I might bring this up a little higher to fill in this gap. I'm still figuring out if I want to keep this, like the original uh, dials. I kind of want to do something simpler, but the headlight bracket from K-Speed, pretty easy to install. A lot of processes of basically dropping down the forks and all of that, but besides that, that's done. We're done for that. This video's done, hooray! Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. There's a lot of like wiring, rerouting, and just a bunch of things, but if you're gonna do anything on the front of the bike, do it all at once. That's my suggestion. Um, that being said, thank you guys for watching. I know this has been a crazy, this is like, well, we started this video in December and now here it is February 15th, crazy. But thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, all, if you haven't already hit that like button and that subscribe button. And we are one step closer to being done with the Royal Enfield 2.0 build. There you go. Ah. Boom. Thanks guys.